Hi everyone, really good to see you again. Where are we today? We're at Southwark. Now where are we going? We're going to Tao Mangal. Now this place is an authentic Turkish restaurant. Online it has some amazing reviews as well. So yeah, really looking forward to it. Last time I had a kebab, didn't go too good. It was a German Donner kebab. Uh, didn't like that very much. As always, let's give it a go. I'm trying not to get knocked over here as well. Okay, so we come inside the restaurant, really spacious restaurant. What I like is most, well, all the tables actually are, are set up for four people. So if you come in for just two, you've got a lot of space. I like that. So what else I like? Every table has got fresh flowers as well. Nice touch. And a little bit of hygiene as well. So uh, yeah, nice, pretty good. Uh, staff, as soon as I came in, really, really friendly, nice people. They delivered straight away this bread and these two sauces. Oh, that bread's nice and warm. I ordered myself a Turkish tea as well. Presentation-wise, that looks great, and it tastes fantastic as well. Now, I had a look at the menu. What I've decided to do is go for their lunchtime special. Now, this is available between 10 a.m. and 3. What I like about it, three-course meal, £13.90. Three courses. Uh, what I'm going to go for, because uh, it's got a nice range of starters there, I'm going to go for the hummus. And for the main course, I'm going to go for the lamb donna. Uh, and for dessert, baklava as well. Now, I've got to say that if you, if you only want one course, it's 11 90 two courses, 12 90 But I think that value for money, that's really good. The menu itself, really extensive menu. If you guys take a look through that, loads of options on that main menu. But I'm interested to see what their lunchtime special is all about at £13.90. OK, I'll see you when the meal arrives. Cheers. Very refreshing. So we've got the bread here, as I said, nice and warm. Let's try it here. I imagine this is a, a mint sauce. Mm. That's very naughty there. I shouldn't have dipped, shouldn't have dipped my bread in there because they give me a spoon for both, so my apologies for that. As you look at that, lovely consistency in there. Real nice um, flavour of mint as well. Now I imagine this is the hot one. Don't be too hot please, don't be too hot. Hmm. Good God, that is really hot. Look in there, that's obviously homemade. My God, that has got a nice kick to it. See all the chilies in there, nicely ground up as well. I think you actually need to have something with that, as in, as in some meat or something along them lines, because just with the bread, has got a nice kick to it. Okay. Oh, sorry, the bread's really, really tasty as well. Um, I'll see you when the meal arrives. Okay, so I've got my hummus here. Take a look at that. Now, for you, those of you who don't know, hummus is chickpeas all blended up. There should be some garlic in there, some lemon, um, and you can see the olive oil on top with some uh, seasoning as well. Let's see what it tastes like. Oh, look at that. Nice big bit there. Mmm. It's got a nice consistency to it. That's clearly homemade, not bought in. 
You see the seasoning there. Wow, it's blended perfectly, really smooth in your mouth. That's an excellent hummus, really, really good. Lovely olive oil in there, uh, makes it really <laughs> moist and very healthy as well. So yeah, really good. All right, I'm gonna crack on. I'll see you guys in a minute. I've got my lamb donna there, let me take a quick look. I've got bulgur on one side and uh, plain rice on the other, a green pepper and a tomato. Now, smell wise, wow, it does smell incredibly good. Um, presentation wise, yeah, very nice presentation as well. Is it the biggest portion I've ever seen? No, I've got to say it's not the biggest portion I've ever seen. Uh, presentation wise, looks wise, smell wise, fantastic. However, I also get a salad as well. You take a look through there, you've got onions, red cabbage, tomatoes, cucumber, a slice of lemon. Value for money wise, that does look very good. Wow. Now onto the taste. I'm gonna start with the bulgur. Take a look there. You can actually see some lentils in there. That's the first time I've ever tried bulgur. It's, it's totally different to, to rice. It's um, made with wheat. Um, you can taste the lentils there. It's got a lovely flavor to it. Let's try the rice. Got the rice. The rice is perfectly cooked, boring. Bulgur is far better. Mm. Now, if you look at this lamb donna. Portion wise, that's a big portion actually. There's a lot more on there than I thought. Right, let's see. It's being the Cut off the, uh, the skewer there. Mm. This isn't a lamb donna. You come out of the pub, you've had a few beers, you come in, you dive in. That is a really quality lamb donna. Nice and meaty. You can taste the seasoning in there, there's peppers in there. The peppers, pepper in there. Um, it has got a nice fragrance there. Really good. That's actually a really nice donna. Now to try it with some of these sauces. So I'm going to try some of the chili sauce. Already know this is nice and hot. Let's put that across there. That is very hot. strange because it is very hot but it's not blowing my head off as it did when I uh, tried it with the bread so you, yeah you've got to try it with the meat now try some of the yogurt now this should cool it down a little bit for me mm. the mint that's in that yogurt does complement the, the lamb donna perfectly. The other thing which I've, um, I've realised, just looking at the menu, uh, they they don't buy their donna in, they actually make it here on site. So it isn't your usual processed uh, donna. The other thing which I'm looking forward to trying here as well, you can see where the donna, the juices from it, has come in and soaked into the rice. So you get a combination of both. That's really good. Okay. I was about to say, okay, I'm gonna crack on. But I forgot. Let's move that over there. I'm definitely coming back to that in a sec. I've got the salad here. See how fresh the salad is. 
It's got a lovely sheen to it. Obviously, it's been tossed in olive oil. Just squeeze the lemon all over it. Lots of juice from that lemon. It's only a small piece as well. Everything there, it's very fresh. Nice crunch to the to the onion, the red cabbage. Uh, it's excellent salad. I like the olive oil in there as well. Makes it nice and juicy. And again, you can see the sheen to that. That's got a real nice sheen to it because of the olive oil. They clearly know what they're doing in here. Okay, well I am now gonna crack on and I'll see you guys shortly. Well. Sometimes it's going to be very, very dry or it can be really greasy. Um, this comes right in the middle of that bracket. It's not dry, definitely not. It's nice and moist. And it's certainly not greasy. Um, yeah, let's have a bit of sauce. And let's cool it down a bit. Try one of the peppers as well. Why? Whenever I have a pepper, I thought, I don't think that'd be very hot. <coughs> oh, damn it. That's hot on that. No more pepper. Okay, so I've got my baklava there. Now it's layers of phyllo pastry with uh, nuts on the inside and syrup there as well on the pastry. Now I'm not a massive sweet person. Or am I a massive sweet person? I don't know. Mm. That is really sweet. Taste the honey there. Got the nuts inside and feel like pastry. It's sort of lovely. You hear it. Nice crunch to itself. Mm. Okay. Crack on. See you guys shortly. Mm. Okay, so I finished the meal and I've got the bill here. Before, before I go through the, everything, the thing that's really interesting is I've had two Turkish teas and I didn't realise that lunchtime they're complimentary. There's no charge for them. That's excellent Turkish tea. Onto the meal itself. Now I'm not going to go through everything majorly in depth. I thought the hummus, fantastic taste to it. The bread itself and the dips, all top quality as well. I really, really enjoyed the um, salad. It's very fresh. Onto the lamb donna. You had the bulgur there, the rice, uh, and the lamb donna on top. Oh, I really like that bulgur. I've never had it before. And, oh, that, that's my new favourite. So whenever I'm going into a Turkish restaurant, it's bulgur all the day for me. Uh, that had, as I said, a fantastic flavour to it. The rice was real, well cooked. That lamb donna, you know, it's made here on site, and you could you could taste the quality in there. Within it, there had a nice peppery taste, with the uh, yogurt and with the chilli sauce, all complemented absolutely fantastically. Now, portion size, that's an incredible portion an incredible portion. You saw the size of the salad, and believe me, the, the amount of uh, lamb done on there with the bulgur and the, the rice, that was more than substantial. And finally, the bacaba, very sweet. Small portion there, you wouldn't want more than that. Ended the meal, very, very nice. Put a smile in your face. On to the bill. No, before I go onto the bill, as I said, if you're not coming in here for the lunchtime special, it has got an extensive menu and it's a little bit pricey um, if you can't eat off the menu, but I'd imagine the portion size would be even bigger. I'll have to come back and try that. So on to the bill. It's simple, £13.90. 
I'm just checking again, £13.90. That included everything. As I said, the tea was complimentary. And the interesting thing, no service charge either. And the service is excellent in here. The restaurant itself, very spacious, really nice restaurant. Fantastic lighting in here, nice brickwork. Oh, actually it's not brick, that's fake. So I got that bit wrong. Um, really nice restaurant. I said about the touches of the fresh flowers everywhere, and Christmas tree over there. Yeah, very, very nice. What marks am I going to give it? It's a bit of a dilemma. It's not the best kebab I've ever had. It wasn't far away from it. It's not what your regular, let's have a few pints and get down the kebab shop and all the rest of it. This is a step above that. Was it the best I've ever had? No, it probably wasn't. However, you know, I am going to come back here because I am going to eat off the menu because I want to see how good it is actually eating off the menu because it might be the best I've ever had. It might be. Marks I'm going to give it? I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. If you're ever here in Southwark, you have got to come down here and give it a try. If you have given it a try, you've got to let me know what you thought of the place. Online, it's got fantastic reviews, as I said. As always, I'd love to hear your comments. If you'd like to subscribe, you know, I really, really appreciate that. Until next time, and you've got to give the Turkish tea, tea a try as well. Cheers. Bye-bye.